Israeli government, defense, finance, trade and tourism sites all among those targeted. Israel's finance minister acknowledging that it was facing cyber attacks on an unprecedented scale, with over 44 million attempts to attack and disrupt government websites. In some cases, access was denied. In other cases, hackers altered the homepage, leaving their own message behind. CNN has not independently confirmed who was behind the hacking attempts, but the group Anonymous posted a pro-Palestinian message on one of its websites. Quote, when the government of Israel publicly threatened to sever all Internet and other telecommunications into and out of Gaza, they crossed a line in the sand. We are anonymous and no one shuts down the Internet on our watch. Anonymous is not a stated political ally of Hamas, but is using this as a form of civil disobedience, says one former hacker turned information security specialist. What they do is they use a form of hacktivism, meaning they hack into sites to send a message and create media attention to what they think is an, of an important interest. But cybersecurity expert Hamu Nigam says these are more than just nuisance attacks. Each attack is designed to figure out exactly what the landscape looks like. So from an anonymous hacker perspective, what they're doing is they're attacking millions of times a day. But every time they do, they actually learn something new about the network or the landscape that they're attacking. Most of the sites were quickly restored, but some of them are still down. And the volume of the attempted disruptions is stunning. According to Israel's Minister of Finance, there were 10 million attacks on the official website of President Shimon Peres, 7 million attacks on the website of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and 3 million attacks on the Prime Minister's official site, all in just the last few days. This is a wake-up call for many countries that cyber war is a new front. Millions of attacks can be carried out by a handful of people with far-reaching consequences. If you can get at the computer uh, network that, that uh, affects this, then you're really hitting the home front uh, uh, from without uh, having to put a, a person uh, on the ground. Anonymous also taking to social media, Twitter, and it posted a message on a website saying it does not support the use of violence, but is pursuing this as a human rights cause. Meanwhile, Israel's chief information officer says it has deflected millions of these attacks and said they are now facing a war on three fronts, physical, social media, and cyber. Lisa Sylvester, CNN, Washington.